Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about antiderivatives of algebraic functions. As previously discussed, the process of antidifferentiation is just the inverse process of finding the derivatives of functions. We have shown in the previous lesson that a function can have a family of antiderivatives. We will look at antiderivatives of different types of functions, particularly we will find the antiderivatives of algebraic functions for this lesson. These following theorems will help us finding the antiderivatives of algebraic functions. Note that these formulas are derived from the theorems of finding derivatives that we have discussed in the previous lessons. For the first theorem, the indefinite integral of dx is equal to x plus c where c is an arbitrary constant. For the second theorem, if n is any real number and is not equal to negative 1, then the indefinite integral of x raised to n with respect to x is equal to x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus the arbitrary constant c. For the third theorem, if n is any constant and f is a function, then the indefinite integral of a times f of x with respect to x is equal to a times the indefinite integral of f of x with respect to x. For the third theorem, if f and g are functions defined on the same interval, the indefinite integral of f of x plus g of x with respect to x is equal to the indefinite integral of f of x with respect to x plus the indefinite integral of g of x with respect to x. Let us apply these theorems in solving some examples. For the first one, let us solve the indefinite integral of 3 with respect to x. Using the first theorem and the third theorem, we will have indefinite integral of 3 with respect to x is equal to 3 times the indefinite integral of dx. Thus, we will have 3x plus c. Therefore, the indefinite integral of 3 with respect to x is equal to 3x plus c. Let us have another example solve for the indefinite integral of x raised to 6 with respect to x. Using theorem number 2, we will have the indefinite integral of x raised to 6 with respect to x will be equal to x raised to 6 plus 1 divided by 6 plus 1 plus the arbitrary constant c. Simplifying, we will get x raised to 7 divided by 7 plus c. Another example, solve for the indefinite integral of 1 over x raised to 6 with respect to x. Using theorem number 2, note first that 1 over x raised to 6 can be written as x raised to negative 6. Thus, the given will be equal to the indefinite integral of x raised to negative 6 with respect to x. From here, we can now apply theorem number 2. Thus, we will have x raised to negative 6 plus 1 divided by negative 6 plus 1 plus c. Simplifying, we will get x raised to negative 5 divided by negative 5 plus c. Moreover, to write the exponent into positive, then we need to get its reciprocal. Thus, we will have the final answer, negative 1 over 5x raised to 5 plus c. Another example, find the indefinite integral of 4 times square root of x with respect to x. Before using theorem number 2 and theorem number 3, we can actually rewrite our given into 
the indefinite integral of 4x raised to 1 half with respect to x. Because remember, the square root of x is equal to x raised to 1 half. From here, we can now apply theorem number 2 and theorem number 3. Therefore, we will have 4 times the indefinite integral of x raised to 1 half with respect to x. Solving the indefinite integral of x raised to 1 half with respect to x, we will have 4 times x raised to 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1 plus the arbitrary constant c. Simplifying the exponent and the denominator, we will get 4x raised to 3 halves divided by 3 halves plus c. Simplifying 4 divided by 3 halves, we will get 8x raised to 3 halves divided by 3 plus the arbitrary constant c. Another example. Solve for the indefinite integral of 12x squared plus 2x with respect to x. Using theorems number 2, 3, and 4, we will have 12 times the indefinite integral of x squared with respect to x plus 2 times the indefinite integral of x with respect to x. Moreover, this will be equal to 12x cubed over 3 plus 2x squared over 2 plus c. Simplifying 12 over 3 and 2 over 2, we will get the final answer 4x cubed plus x squared plus c. For our last example, let us solve for the indefinite integral of x squared plus 1 over x squared with respect to x. Before using theorems 1, 2, and 3, we can actually simplify our given. Notice that when we divide the two terms x squared and 1 by x squared, we will have 1 plus 1 over x squared. From here, we can now apply theorems 1, 2, and 3. Solving for the indefinite integral of 1 plus 1 over x squared with respect to dx, we will get x plus x raised to negative 1 divided by negative 1 plus the arbitrary constant c. Simplifying, we will get x minus 1 over x plus c. With these examples, I want you to notice that whenever we are applying the theorems in solving for the indefinite integral, we are actually removing the integral sign. Moreover, we are adding an arbitrary constant c. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For the next video, we will discuss about antiderivatives of functions yielding exponential and logarithmic functions. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.